Tucson Medical Center's Orthopedic and Surgical Tower is where inpatient and outpatient orthopedic surgeries are performed. Volunteers are available at the concierge desk for any questions you may have. Please take the elevator to the third floor. You'll check in at the desk first and then with the volunteer who will give you a paper with a unique identifying number so that your family or friend who's with you can track your progress using the monitors in the lobby. Patient Pam Vondrack shares her perspective. Really find out what time the surgery is because they may have you come at six o'clock in the morning or seven or eight, but your surgery may not be until 11. That helps with anxiety for families that are waiting or phone calls that need to be made to California or Missouri. You will shortly be taken back to pre-op. One person is welcome to join you. A technician will go over a few things with you. If you are undergoing an inpatient procedure, you'll be asked to wipe down everything below your neck with special disinfectant wipes that can be cold and sticky. You'll change into a gown and then meet your nurse and other members of your surgical team. The pre-op nurses are excellent. They explain things to you and ask you if you have any questions and they keep you warm if you're cold with a warm blanket and if you have to go and use the restroom, they make sure that you can do that before you go into surgeries and they're very good about explaining things to alleviate fears. An IV will be started and you may receive an EKG. You'll likely be given some medicine to help you relax. As you are wheeled to surgery, we ask that the person with you please head back to the lobby. Restrooms are conveniently located near the elevator. On the first floor, Higher Grounds, a coffee shop with grab-and-go food items, is next to the concierge desk. Please ask a TMC volunteer for directions to the cafeteria. Please keep in mind, most joint replacement surgeries are an hour or less. Spine surgeries typically take longer. Talk to your doctor about what to expect with your surgery. After your procedure, you will be wheeled to the post-anesthesia care unit or PACU. A nurse will be by your side as you wake up from anesthesia. Well, you wake up and you're pretty groggy and you have sometimes a funny taste in your mouth and you have a mask on you and you, you have monitor leads on you. You can hear beeping and you have a pulse ox on your finger and they're right beside you. Again, if you're cold, they give you a nice warm blanket. They start talking to you. During that time, your surgeon will meet with your family in a private room located off the lobby. Patients will stay in the PACU for about an hour. Right away I had excellent care. Nurses were beside me immediately, making sure that I was comfortable, making sure my pain was controlled. Outpatients will be discharged and taken by wheelchair to the entrance of the tower. Inpatients will be taken to the fourth floor of the tower or to unit 950 to recover, which is typically a two or three day stay. Spine cases may require an additional one to two days. A TMC volunteer will tell your family your room number just as soon as it becomes available. Many patients will get out of bed the same day. This is done to try and prevent blood clots from forming in your legs or lungs. My surgery was finished, I think I was upstairs by between one and two o'clock in the afternoon and uh, physical therapy came in and said, okay, at about 4.30, we're gonna get up and walk. Most patients will work with a physical therapist twice a day until they're discharged. And the more you get up, the more you move, the more you do all the things the nurses ask you to do, and the respiratory therapist, you're going to have a much better recovery.